How are your parents teaching money to you? Is it through your first piggy bank? Well, hopefully, if it has, then you've been consistent in putting money into it. Now, there is a big difference between your piggy bank or your money box and a real bank. And so today, I want to show you how a real bank works. The first thing you need to know about a bank is that it is a place where people store their money. Now, unlike your money box, the bank actually pays you for keeping your money with them. And this payment is called interest. Now, each month, banks will pay you a small percentage of interest, which is determined by how much money you have in the bank. So, in theory, the more you have in the bank, the more interest you will earn. Now, you're probably thinking that this sounds good, but why would they pay me just for storing my money there? Well, this leads to the second thing that you need to know about a bank. Banks actually allow you and others to borrow money from them and they'll pay you to keep your money there so that they can use that money to let other people borrow to purchase things that they need. Let's say that someone needs to buy a new house. They'll come to the bank to borrow that money because most people can't afford to pay cash for the whole house. So the bank will give them the money and they must pay it back. However, when they pay it back, they must pay back a little more than they borrowed. And this is known as interest. Now, the difference in the interest is that the person who borrows the money will usually pay a higher interest, which allows the bank to pay you for using your money. Let me give you an example to help you. You've $10 and you decide to open a savings account at the children's bank. Now the bank agrees to give you a dollar for each month that you keep your account open. Now at the same time, Billy wants to buy a bike that costs $15, but he only has $10. So Billy decides to borrow $5 from the bank to get the bike now. Now when it's time to pay back the bank, instead of paying the $5, he has to pay them back $7. And this is how banks earn their money and are able to pay for your interest every month. So to sum up, a bank is simply a place where money is stored and borrowed. You earn interest for keeping it there and the banks earn interest when people borrow it and pay it back. So remember, the piggy bank is nice, but it doesn't pay you for keeping your money there. So if you haven't done so, get out there and get your first savings account. So that concludes our video on how banks work. We hope that has made some, given you some clarity. If you have any questions, please email us at info at moneytoolkits.com and we'll see you in the next video in the Kids Making Money YouTube channel. Thank you.